Hey, you perfect, holy, righteous people. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the war. And it's a war like you never would think. See, me personally, I got a lot of people that attack me, a lot of people that come against me, a lot of people that misunderstand me, a lot of people that would, I mean, it's just crazy. But my war and your war is to still see them how God sees them. See, there's two kinds of righteousness. There's faith righteousness and work-based righteousness. Faith righteousness is that you believe in your identity because of what Jesus did on the cross, meaning you believe that God made your identity. Work-based identity is not the same, and it can work-based righteousness is not the same. It means this. Work-based is that you believe in a lie, and that lie tells you that you're worthless or you're not, you're no profit. You're worth no profit. So anything that tells you that you are not amazing, you are not righteous, you are not holy, you are not pure, you are not beautiful, you are not one with Christ. Anything that tells you that you are a sinner, you are a liar, you're, you know, you're battling with this. Anything that tells you that is a lie. See, we believe in our identity, our faith based identity, meaning because Jesus died, listen guys, he died as you. He took on, he didn't die as a sinner. He died as all the humanity sin, all the sin for humanity. And then I like it, what it says in, in the translation, it said that Jesus was beat without recognition, meaning he was beat so bad you couldn't even recognize who he was. So his image was so distorted, he even, nobody even knew his image. And he did that for us so we could know our image. Guys, and then we have the same ministry of reconciliation to bring them back to the Father, to show them how the Father sees them. And remember, guys, your identity is based off of God, not you. God made you. You did not make God. And, God, and there's another translation that I was reading in the Bible. It says this, and I thought that was pretty cool. It said that, um, what did it say? God made you, um, God made you, man didn't make God. Oh, it said this. It says, I hope you guys are not selling out the grace, like taking grace. I, I really hope you guys are not taking grace for granted. And it said, there is a danger with grace. And it says, this is the danger that you underestimate God's grace. Meaning you can't overtell how good good is. You can't over speak of his grace. You can't, even if you try to make up how good his grace is, you can never overdo it. But this is the danger that you might under it. You might speak less of it. Oh my God. That's the danger of grace. Hey guys, listen. We believe what Christ did. We might seem out of our minds. You might think you're this dirty little piece of crap sinner. You battle with all these things. That's a lie of the fallen humanity. And now, because of what Jesus did on that cross, you are perfect. You're without blemish. You're without you're without anything. You are perfect. You are righteous. You are pure. You are holy. And anything that tells you otherwise is a lie. And then it gets you into work-based righteousness. And faith righteousness and work-based righteousness cannot be together. Paul said, hey, I've fulfilled. I mean, he didn't say I fulfilled the law. He said, I've done everything in the law. He said, but my righteousness is in Christ." But I count it all dumb because my righteousness is in Christ Jesus. Work-based doesn't go with faith-based. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys, I'm so hammered. I love you, holy, righteous, pure, perfect people. <laughs> uh.